Well, hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about uh, PID controller implementation in uh, codices. So let's start it. First, we need to create uh, a new project, and I will choose some random target platform configuration. Program will be in CFC language. But before P controller, we need to create our control object. And for that, we need uh, a periodic link block and the block of the delay. So let's create them. We need to right click uh, here on the left. We will add a new object. It will be a function block in the ST language. And I will call it uh, short for a periodic link block. First, we will define input variables, input signal. Transitional coefficient, time constant, and sample time. Our, as an output will be output signal. Okay, that's for a periodic link block. Now in the same way, we will create the block of the time delay. So if the sample time will be 0 0.1 seconds, our delay will be 2 seconds. Ok. Now we can go back to the program and we will create our object.
and to finish it properly uh, I will add transitional coefficient of our control object let's say it will be 0 0.9 So sample time 0 0.1 and here time constant time constant for example 5 seconds Okay, by this uh, we have created our uh, control object. Now we can go for pit controller. As usual, right click and add object, functional block, st. Okay, that's it for variables. Now let's go to the program. This speed controller will be with a periodic uh, setting link. First, we will cover manual mode. And here will be automatic heat controller.
Okay, so, so that's uh, the code for this controller. Here I have covered the manual mode. Here is automatic mode. In these uh, lines of code, I introduced the limitation for uh, pit controller output signal, total control signal, and here are limitations for uh, integral part of the control signal. So this is the calculation uh, of the set point with the aperiodic setting link. In this uh, line of code, um, control error is being calculated. Here is proportional control part of the signal, integral part, and the differential part of the control signal. So, let's test it. Sample time 0 0.1 as everywhere in my dynamic system. And here we go. Let's say set point. Proportional heat controller coefficient. integral of time differential Uh, this is time constant for a periodic setting link. Okay, let's try it. Simulation mode, login, run. And now we can see that our dynamic system uh, is working. Of course, uh, it's not optimal because I have put the settings for the PIT controller. I just uh, took them from my head. I just put them on random. But uh, I see that it's working not so bad. But still, let's uh, introduce some visual. Okay, we log out, and I will introduce uh, two more output variables, and I will define them as global. Let's go for the visualization. We will add object. 
due to main. And I will add a trend. Let's choose variable. I will add both of them. So our control signal will be red and our process value will be green. Okay. Let's put some scales. Okay, and let's try it again. Login, run, and we will check what we've got. So I have put the set point of 50, and let's have a look. Now, as you can see, the transient process is not so bad, considering that I have put the settings for my controller uh, just uh, on random. It's good. So, this is it, guys. Uh, that's how you build uh, dynamic blocks. That's how you build a pit controller of your own. And that's how you connect them in an automatic control system in Codices. I hope uh, this information has been useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, like or dislike, whatever. Comment if you want to ask something. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.